Uh, welcome back. We're back with the album review. Yeah, Look at that too. shit. Yeah, we're doing Logic's album, No Pressure, yep. the sequel to his Ooh. debut, the sequel to his debut studio album, Under Pressure. Yep. So this was, at the time, his last album before <laughs> retiring. Yep. And then he made some more that I have not listened to. Yeah. <laughs> I don't play on it. I don't <laughs> Well, the reason he was also going to retire, one, he was kind of getting bored and, like, tired of rap. Yeah. And especially, sorry, and especially, like, before this, he released two albums that were pretty bad, like, if most people would say. Uh, no, not bad albums. Yeah. We, he made we, some good ones, though. He made some great ones before that era, and then, then he started falling he off a up. bit. He picked it up with this one, which was said to be his last album. Yep. Because he was, he was signing a deal with Twitch to do a full-time streaming there, which, by the way, only lasted a year. But you know, that's aside the point. Damn. Tragic. Yeah. So, do you have any background you'd like to give on Logic that you have, or not much? Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I thought about doing some research for today. Alright! We, we, we could just jump into it. But you know fun. what, Logic, you know, he's a big nerd. He's cool shit. Oh, yeah. You know, even outside of fucking his rap shit, it's pretty fun to watch him do shit, you know? Yeah. It's another artist on here that we have seen live. Yep, we have seen him live. That's a good oh, another, another note. To, uh, uh, there's only yeah. one track on here I can really touch on, though, saying it was good live. Yeah. Which we'll get to when we get to it. Yep. But shall we get started? Sure. Yeah, you want me to read more? Home? Yeah, it's a little tiny, so. Okay. So, the first, uh, the intro, obviously. Yeah, the, the intro, intro track. I like the intro track. Yeah, he's, he's pretty good at making intros. Solid Snake makes a cameo. Yeah, he's got a Metal Gear Solid <laughs> reference in there. I thought that was I pretty cool. I thought like, his nerd, like, little touches, yeah, dude, you know? that was cool. Mm -hmm. uh, his yeah. nerdy shit that he throws in there. Yeah. Um, you ready for the next one? Oh, I'm ready. Hit My Line. Hit My Line's a cool one. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But, uh... I don't really have much to say about that one. Yeah, honestly. it's not but one of the better ones, but it's not bad. Not for me. But like when GP four <laughs> comes on, that's what's okay. next. I like that one. It finally picks up. You know. Yeah. I mean, it's not like crazy. This one like, samples an Outcast song, and uh, yeah, this one's just okay to me though. Hmm. Which one? Which Outcast song? It's I forget the one, but it's something off of AT Aliens. So like one of their first albums. Gotcha. And then we got next, Celebration. Celebration oh. is a really good one. Yeah, that's a good fucking one. song, dude. I love the background of it. I love just how hype it can get. I and... didn't even make any notes. This is bad. <laughs> I, I really do like this album, though. It's yeah, good. I like this track, though. I think it's a really good one. Yeah. Open Mic slash Aquarius 3. I dig this one. Yeah, I like this one. It's definitely like a switch up from what was happening this whole time. Yeah, like, I like the intro to it with the open mic stuff. It's pretty interesting. Hey, that bitch a thought. Yeah, fuck that's, you. That's, that was that's the three. wrong one. That's the that's, next track. Oh, yeah. uh, damn. <laughs> my fault. Soul but, uh, Food 2. Yeah. yeah, Soul Food 2. Soul Food 2, the sequel to my all-time favorite Logic yeah. song it, being Soul Food 1. I'm not a fan of this song. Really? Um, no. it's, it's pretty cool, but like it switches too much. I, I guess, guess I liked the old one too much. I know? like the original way like, better. Like, you start hearing it, and then he's like, says a different word in one of the, I forget, like, the first line. Like, yeah. I mean, it's to show that it's a sequel track, and it's right. different. Like, yeah. he wants to take it in a different it direction. It is different. Which, I do like that, and I think it's a pretty good track. Not the best one, but... I'm sorry. Yeah. I think that the next song is my favorite, actually. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect was pretty cool live. It, like, it was uh, really uh, cool live. It was my favorite song, I think, on this album. Yeah, although I wish it was longer, because it's just it's just yeah. under two minutes long. And You're right, I forgot about that. I just wish it was a little longer. Yeah, like, which which we could not say la about last week's fucking person. <laughs> yeah. That was way too long. <laughs> with their Even though this album minute... longer in the end, actually. Yeah. But... <laughs> no, actually, that one was still longer. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. With their freaking seven minute epics, and then there's this album, which is a little different. Yeah, we just listened to this in the car before we came here. But man, I is man, yeah. I is is a good one. Wait, no, that was before. Never mind. We didn't. Yeah, but still, that. you did. It's though. still a fire ass song. Just, yeah, I like man, I is. It's a good reflection yeah. track on how he's becoming nowadays. Yeah. I just, I, I'm biased in this <laughs> fucking episode. I just really like Logic. Yeah, <laughs> I think like a lot of songs on here really help tie into how his life has changed so much since. For real, because he's a dad now. Yeah, which uh, 
He touches on a lot in, in tracks coming up. Yep, he's, he's dead. And you know what? The next song is Dead Bond. Yep, there it <laughs> is. I like this one. I like this this one is fun. probably my favorite off the album. Really? It is a good one, I will say. Because it goes into it like goes so much about what his life is now. Like he's his, he's just happy having the kid. Is not His life's pretty boring now, but he's okay with it. Cause, you yeah, know, he hasn't had much to write about. Yeah, That's but but he does at the same time. This. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but he does at the same time though. Like even like halfway through the song, where he has like his Eminem moment, where he's like, "I'm in the store at Target and like just trying to buy shit, and people walk up to me, scratching my dick, shaking their hands. Like it's very Eminem." But I think it that was, was a line. Yeah, it, it was a line. Yeah, <laughs> he That's said, "I scratch my dick, I shake his hand." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. But I think it's just a really cool track overall. Yeah. I, I totally agree with that. This fucking song was fire. I just... Uh, yeah. Logic. <laughs> I'm so glad I picked this album, because I didn't even know, like, before I picked it, like, that this one was, like, so good. Yeah. Like, I just looked it up, and I was like, everyone's raving about it. Like, yeah. like back then they were. But... Yeah, even back then, like, my first experience with it... Was, like, we'll get to that in Final Thoughts. Yeah, but... yeah. Um, next song, Five Hooks. I like Five Hooks. It was very catchy. That's what I have to say about it. Yeah, I love the beats. But a lot of the beats produced by No ID, who he worked with on the first Under Pressure, I think they work very well together throughout this entire project. Was this a song where Lauren didn't like that background shit? Yeah. I didn't like that. Some of the backings were kind of weird with the beats, but... Yeah, that... that It would have been perfect, like, chill moment if they didn't have the random fucking, like, whatever they're called. Yeah. But, yeah. Let's... Next one. Dark Place. Dark Place. You already dark. know. Yeah, Dark Place is a good one. Like it's stuff like this. That he also gets into why he like stays off the internet because like he got a fuck ton of backlash. Oh hell yeah! For his last two albums, yeah, like, before they were this one. Shit. Like, yeah, which yeah they weren't good, and I kind of understand it, but you're seeing it from his side. Yeah, you know? right. You are. Which you don't I really see, like that. Yeah, you don't see a lot in artists. Usually they're like, oh, I'm so great or whatever. But like this is like he's really breaking down how it's affected him and like. To the point where he doesn't really like to make rap anymore. Yeah. Damn. It's crazy to listen to. Yep. Yeah. That's why, like, we mentioned on the Posty episode about the track Internet, his reasons he doesn't go on the Internet, and Zach brought up this album, and, like, I agree that this was a better <clears throat> reason for staying off the Internet, just away from all the bullshit. Right. <clears throat> yeah. I think the next one is the most forgettable for me. Yeah. A to Z. A to Z. This one's kind of a goofy idea it behind it. Goofy. <laughs> it's like he's just rapping and like incorporating every letter of the alphabet into it. Yeah. It's okay. really strange, but I'm not a big fan of this one. Yeah. I mean, there's always got to be those songs. Yeah, and at the end of the track, it's like a, a demo of like one of his first raps from the 2000s, and really? I'm like, what the fuck am I listening to? <laughs> like that track's definitely my least favorite overall. Yeah. Well, next one's Heard Him Say. Heard Him Say is cool. That was cool. Um, it really slows down at the end of the album, I will say. Yeah, this is like the quote-unquote closing track, because uh, the entire album also has like Thalia in it, which is that voice, which he samples from a, in a Tribe Called Quest album, Midnight Marauders, yeah. is where, like, where that voice was originally from. But he would use it in Under Pressure because he loves a Tribe Called Quest so much. Oh, shit. shit. That's one thing That's Logic so loves... Work. It's like, he wears his influences on his sleeve very yeah, much, so. He does. <clears throat> in fact, in one of the tracks, like, it, Thalia cites his influences. If you're a big Logic fan, then, like, it's really cool to hear, like, her back in this project. Yeah. Uh, next Which, one, Amen. Amen. Yeah. Uh, I like this one. It's a nice chill one. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a chill song. I mean, it's the last real music track, because then there's the closing track. Yeah, ob Obedient <coughs> first. Yeah, obediently yours. So why did he put this at the end? Like, what was his? Reason? He always he's a big intro outro person. It seems. Yeah, like, and this was a it was a six minute speech done by the the great Orson Welles. If you're familiar with him, and I'm pretty sure if I remember listening to it correctly, it's a lot about like segregation and like the struggles back then because he was big so during like he the 40s did and 50s. Bring up the biracial. He band. didn't bring it up technically. Technically, no, but like. It's not really about biracial stuff, though. It's, it's more like... It's more just about, like, struggles that racism, racism has had, yeah. especially back then. Mm -hmm. And, like, how things have gotten... Much better. No. Yeah. Hopefully, I'd, hopefully. A little better. Yeah. yeah. I'd say it's definitely better, but still. Oh, yeah. 100%. That's a topic for a whole different show, really. Yep. Or so, maybe just not this album. Yep. 
Definitely not. All right, uh, final thoughts? Uh, final thoughts. Uh, I'm so glad I picked this album. I was able to listen to it, you know? Yeah. It, it made me appreciate him more, I'd say. All of his earlier stuff is always in my rotation, and, like, some of these songs. Perfect definitely has always been in my rotation. Yeah. That's what, what was, like, I saw that song, and I was like, I'm picking this album. I didn't even know how it fits, and it fit well, so... Mm-hmm. My first experience with this album was when it came out. It was me, Chris, and Zach were driving home from the shore, and we it just came out, and we threw it on. Well, not just come out. It was like out for like a week or so. Yeah. And we were just had it in the car ride all the way back, and I'm like, oh, this is pretty dope, because I was there for the last couple Logic albums before yeah. this one. And I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> what the fuck is this That's guy? That's why I was kind of not even thinking it was like anything. Mm-hmm. Know? I feel like people forget about this one. Though. I did. And. Mm-hmm. It's really a good Logic album. It's one of his better ones he's put out. Because, I mean, he hasn't put out a lot of good stuff in the past couple of years. But this is, like, probably the best one that he's put out since, like, probably, like, Under Pressure or The yeah. Under, the Incredible True Story. One, I like... One of those first two you albums. You know, debatably, I like Bobby Darantino, too, but not a lot of people. Uh, like that's the kind of a mixed opinion one, but I do like There's that. There's a lot of songs I like. I that like project songs too. I like. And everybody also. I like everybody. There's some bangers on that fucking album. I don't care what anyone says. Everybody but that's besides the point. That's like the turning point. Everybody beat around when that, that is the one came out. Everybody beat. Yeah. Everybody needs no Final thoughts? I dug it. I thought it was pretty neat. I liked yeah. a lot of the, uh, the harder hitting tracks. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. the, the ending I do agree with it's kind of it, it slams on the brakes a little too hard yeah, yeah the last couple it tracks kind of slowed down that. a lot <laughs> he, yeah. it was very logic of him <laughs> it is very logic of him cause like my other thing with this album if you're a logic hater there's not much here to really flip your opinion on him yeah, honestly there is. it's more logic yeah it's more so if you logic. like logic it's a good logic project but if you don't this isn't gonna convert you yeah no but for what it is I think it's pretty good yeah Agree. Right. So uh, I guess I'll go first. Go um, since I picked, I will do. Um, I'm thinking like a seven on this seven? one. Seven. Yeah, cause like, it's good, but like it's not like the one of the best albums ever, you know. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm gonna match you on that. Give it a seven. Yeah. Good, not great. A few songs don't really care for. Yeah. Some of the production's just okay, but it's a very well produced album overall. Just some oh, yeah. tracks are just kind of mediocre. And A to Z, I was just yeah. yeah. That that threw me off. I didn't like that so Yeah. <laughs> It could just be removed. I'm gonna give it a six and a half. Okay, that's for fair. my I first like that. for that's my good. first Logic album. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, you have to go back and listen to other shit. You should listen to start Under with Pressure. Under Pressure, dude. Seriously, Under Pressure is probably his best. It project. will make you like this one better, probably. Got it. Actually. Yeah. All right. We're, so, what have you got for us this week? We're doing playlist roulette. Uh, okay, right. Jake. Luke is. Picking our album. Why and it's a some? random pick. Dude, don't do random. Come on. So you want me to do random? It's either going to be Just a pick ba- one that's good, bro. You can do anything you want. I was about to say, random is either going to be something good, which Jake has somehow hit on every single one, yeah. or it'd be something god awful. Just don't do country, please, God. Did we do Masters of Reality? We have not done that. We're doing Masters of Reality okay. by Black Sabbath. Okay, I'm glad. This, okay. That's a good album. All right, that's Luke. a banger. We're doing Black Sabbath. Okay, this is which, our second Sabbath which album. Which album? Masters of Reality. It's got Into the Boys. Sweet Leaf on yeah, it. But out of yeah, all their albums, Sweet which one is this? Like, it's, right. it's like a top the third two. album? A, they have a lot of albums, so it's hard to say, but uh, this okay. is definitely like a t- higher tier Sabbath what, album. What are the baggers? All right, tune in next week where we take a look at Sabbath again.